Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. the night so far? It's calm, as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. <laughs> don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. <laughs> Writer's block again? You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Ah, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Hmm, <laughs> that aroma. Ah, <sighs> exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. 
So, naturally, I pitched my book idea. Uh. <laughs> Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So, how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So, he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ooh, ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh... <sighs> <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude! I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um... Well... It was so bad that... Well... After reading it... I decided to just delete everything immediately. So... Zero. <sighs> yes. I really need to finish it in, at most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be a service. Oh. It looks like someone's coming. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night, so definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. One cup? of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. <sighs> so warm. So, you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now! You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded, considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business, having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Barista here is damn rich. That's the secret. Oh. Really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Barista can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. <laughs> no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. 
Then are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi. Would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake. With milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. Here's your order. <laughs> Is this what you call latte art? Ah, oh, that's cute. Perfect. A anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the ring. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh my, where are my manners? <laughs> I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm the barista. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh? What kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep. He's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on, he's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee-making skills, though. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So, I'll leave you two in the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is, but today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one's a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all of the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? <laughs> that might be worth it. You should ask the barista here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Your parents? Yes. So, you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. 
What did they say? A lot. Hmm. <sighs> they won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still... You don't know what they said about you last night! <sighs> I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures, about our immortality. About how even if I outlive you. What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus? That's exactly what they said. <sighs> <sighs> so this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been, without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know? We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. <sighs> you're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. <sighs> I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's alright. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? <laughs> no. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop, but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. You were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay. You have a good night then. You too.